We're now going to have a quick look at the Ring Central Meeting app that we use for our masterclass. Ring Central Meeting app is a web-based application which is powered by Zoom. So the two look pretty much the same in terms of user interface. If you haven't downloaded the Ring Central Meeting app yet, click on the meeting link in the invitation email for your scheduled session. The link will open up in your browser where you can download the Ring Central Meeting app directly. If you have already installed it, just open the apps and to join the meeting. Enter the meeting ID that you received from the invitation email. Enter your name. This will be shown as your display name. Leave the setting as it is as shown. Click join. We'll then admit you into the meeting room. And you're in. You can see all the function that is available down here in the bottom. You see this microphone? Click on this arrow, go to the audio setting. The most important thing is to make sure the automatically adjust volume option is selected. So as you can see, as you speak, the input level will adjust accordingly. Double check if these three options are on. And the next thing we're going to look at the video setting. You can see the preview here of your, of your camera. And if you have multiple camera, please make sure you select the highest quality camera that you have. So I select my full HD camera. Make sure this option is selected, 16 to 9. Enable HD is also selected. And if you prefer, select the touch of my appearance so you look better on the camera, which you already are. Spotlight my video when I speak is also on so the attendees can see you as, as you speak. And if you need visual background, it is also available as well. Let's go on to recording tab. Your local recording has higher quality than ours, but we will also record from our side as a backup. You need to send us the recording after your session. Select the right folder to save your video. The video will be saved automatically in this location at the end of the meeting. If you use Dropbox on your computer, please pause your sync now as it will affect the internet connection. Check if you have enough space on your computer right here. So I have 50 gig left in the PC. Using an external hard drive might be a better option in order to save memory on your PC. More or less one hour of meeting is about one gig. Next thing is if you could select the optimize for third party video editor and also the last option, record video during screen share and make sure the last one place video next to the share screen in the recording is also selected. Then you are set. We will assign you as the co-host where you'll be able to share your screen and record a meeting. Before you start the recording, make sure your microphone and video are both on. To start the recording, all you need to do is press this record button and you'll be able to see that the recording has started right here. You can pause or stop the recording at any time by pressing these two buttons. Next, to share your screen, press the share button on the bottom. Select the screen that you want to share, for example, Google slide. So I want to share this Google slide. Select the optimize for full screen video clip to ensure the attendees have the best quality of experience. Now click share. Now you are ready to start your presentation. After you have finished your presentation, click on stop sharing, which brings you back to the main screen. Click on the leave meeting button. Click on leave meeting. The recording will convert automatically by Ring Central and will be saved in the preset location. That's all you need to know about Ring Central meeting. For the live session, you will also be able to use the poll and chat room function as well. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question, please comment below. Thanks for watching.